The Lean Startup, a scientific approach to entrepreneurial success, revolutionize your startup journey with a Lean Startup approach. Maximize learning, minimize waste, the key to entrepreneurial success. Learn from real-world examples and practical strategies for innovation. Embrace validated learning and rapid experimentation for business growth. Chapter 1, Entrepreneurship and Lean Startup In this chapter, RISE introduces the Lean Startup methodology and its relevance in today's entrepreneurial landscape. He emphasizes the need for a scientific approach that prioritizes validated learning to overcome the challenges faced by startups. RISE presents examples of companies like Dropbox and Zappos, who successfully employed lean startup principles to validate assumptions and pivot their business strategies based on customer feedback. By embracing lean startup, entrepreneurs can navigate uncertainty and increase their chances of success. Chapter 2 The Lean Startup Mindset Rise delves into the mindset required for a lean startup. He encourages entrepreneurs to embrace uncertainty and view failures as learning opportunities. By adopting a scientific approach and focusing on experimentation, entrepreneurs can refine their ideas and make data-driven decisions. Rise shares the story of Imvu, an avatar-based interaction company, to illustrate the importance of a flexible mindset and the ability to pivot based on validated learning. This mindset shift is essential for adapting to market dynamics and maximizing innovation potential. Chapter 3 – Validated Learning This chapter explores the concept of validated learning and its significance in the Lean Startup methodology. RISE emphasizes the importance of developing hypotheses, designing experiments, and using actionable metrics to validate assumptions. The build-measure-learn feedback loop serves as a framework for gathering real-world data and customer feedback. RISE provides examples of actionable metrics, such as customer engagement and product usage, and highlights the distinction between actionable and vanity metrics. By focusing on validated learning, entrepreneurs can reduce waste and create products that truly meet customer needs. Chapter 4 – Experimentation RISE discusses the process of systematic experimentation in the Lean Startup approach. He introduces the 5 whys technique, a problem-solving method that helps identify the root causes of issues. By asking why multiple times, entrepreneurs can uncover deeper insights and address underlying problems. RISE also emphasizes the value of split testing, where multiple variations of a product or feature are tested simultaneously to determine the most effective solution. Case studies, such as Grokit's optimization of user experience through split testing, demonstrate the benefits of experimentation and rapid iteration. Through experimentation, entrepreneurs can refine their offerings and enhance their competitive advantage. Chapter 5 – The Minimum Viable Product MVP. In this chapter, Rise explains the concept of the minimum viable product, MVP. He highlights the importance of building an MVP that allows entrepreneurs to quickly gather feedback and validate assumptions with minimal resources. An MVP is not a fully featured product but a version that maximizes learning. Rise presents examples, including Dropbox's video demonstration, which effectively gauged customer interest before investing in full product development. The focus is on learning, not on delivering a perfect solution from the start. By developing an MVP, entrepreneurs can reduce the time and resources spent on building features that may not be valuable to customers and instead focus on what truly matters. Chapter 6 – Innovation Accounting RISE introduces the concept of innovation accounting in this chapter, which involves tracking metrics that reflect the true progress of an innovation project. He explains the three learning milestones, establishing the baseline, tuning the engine, and scaling the business. By tracking actionable metrics aligned with these milestones, entrepreneurs can make informed decisions and allocate resources effectively. RISE presents examples of actionable metrics, such as customer acquisition cost and customer lifetime value, and underscores the importance of data-driven decision-making. Innovation accounting allows entrepreneurs to measure and validate the impact of their actions, 
leading to better business outcomes. Chapter 7, Validated Learning in Practice This chapter showcases real-world case studies of companies that successfully implemented the Lean Startup methodology. Rise presents examples, such as Intuit and Grokit, to demonstrate how the build-measure-learn feedback loop and validated learning can drive innovation and product development. These case studies highlight the practical application of lean startup principles and the transformative potential of validated learning. Entrepreneurs can draw inspiration from these examples and apply similar strategies to their own ventures. Chapter 8 – Innovation in Established Organizations RISE addresses the challenges faced by established organizations when adopting lean startup principles. He discusses the resistance to change and offers strategies to overcome these barriers. RISE emphasizes the importance of creating an entrepreneurial culture that encourages experimentation, risk-taking, and continuous learning. He shares examples, such as Intuit's Follow Me Home program, which allowed employees to directly observe and interact with customers to drive innovation. By fostering an environment that values lean startup principles, established organizations can reignite their entrepreneurial spirit and stay competitive in a rapidly evolving market. Chapter 9 – Conclusion and Next Steps In the final chapter, RISE provides a comprehensive summary of the key principles and steps of the lean startup methodology. He encourages readers to apply these principles in their own entrepreneurial journeys. RISE emphasizes the continuous nature of the lean startup process and offers a roadmap for entrepreneurs to embark on their own paths, focusing on identifying assumptions, building MVPs, and gathering validated learning. He concludes by highlighting the transformative potential of embracing the lean startup mindset and principles. Conclusion by understanding the insights and strategies shared in the Lean Startup, entrepreneurs and innovators can navigate the uncertain terrain of entrepreneurship with a systematic approach that maximizes learning, minimizes waste, and increases the chances of building successful and sustainable businesses. The book serves as a guide to create a culture of innovation and adaptability, enabling entrepreneurs to continuously evolve and thrive in a dynamic business environment. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please support us by liking and subscribing. Make sure to enable notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release new videos.